Rocky Mount Wilson Airport is preparing for some major growth after operations have quadrupled since 2021. That's when the airport had just more than 10,000 flights. That number jumped to more than 45,000 in 2023. WRL's Heidi Kirk reports this regional airport has a number of projects in the works to support its growing numbers. Right now, you can't get a commercial flight out of RWI. Most of the traffic that comes through here is for local businesses and freight. But as part of their long term goals, that's the plan for people like you and I to be able to get a flight out of here. And that process starts now. Jarrett Moss spends a lot of time here. We'll take my truck. I'll, I'll take you around. He gave me a tour of the airport. It's a place he says is primed for growth. It's important that we keep uh, our facilities up to date. It's important that we do this because it, it's very attractive to local businesses. RWI sits directly between Nash, Edgecombe and Wilson counties and serves companies like Pfizer and Cummins. With operations quadrupling since 2021, the airport authority sees a need for expansion. Where our current footprint is about 500 plus acres, we're going to double the size of that acre. Early plans show the addition of more hangars, an industrial park for businesses, and even a second runway to increase traffic. We have a lot of people stopping in for fuel, and they can come in, land, fuel their airplanes, jets, etc., and go on their way quicker than if they were to go into Raleigh-Durham. Still got some work that needs to be done. The catwalk. Moss shows us the airport has already added new fuel tanks and hangars to prepare for the development. Eventually, the hope is that a trip to RWI is accessible to anyone in eastern North Carolina and that it has a lasting memory for the people who visit. That very first impression of the area is so vital, it's so important. The airport tells us it's in the process of finalizing its development plans. And after that, it'll be looking for funding opportunities to support those projects. Heidi Kirk, WRL News, Nash County.